Hey guys, it's SGS, and today I'm gonna be playing Dredge. Dredge is an indie title, and I just absolutely fell in love with it. It was such a fun game to play, and also 100%. And so today, I will be getting all 40 achievements, that being from the main game and the DLC, The Pair Reach. It took me roughly 30 hours to 100%, and I enjoyed every second of it. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So starting out, I accidentally wrecked my boat on some rocks, which a mayor of a tiny town on an island saved my life. He also offered me a boat, but I would have to pay him back for using it. Not too soon after, everything starts to get weird, and people are seeming really terrified. Monsters are lurking in the ocean, a mysterious man is playing something sinister, and the fish are looking different to say the least. So let's unravel the mystery of Dredge. Getting my first quest, I was able to unlock several key features that allowed me to pursue a great fortune. I unlocked the fishmonger, who will buy everything I catch, and the shipwright, who gives me a bunch of options to upgrade several things on my ship or fix the damage. After speaking with her, I got my first achievement, Introductions. I was tasked by a mysterious man named The Collector who has given me a list of things I need to collect for him. After some time fishing and gathering material for my boat, I found something unusual. Interacting with the red embers protruding from the water, it was one of the items that the mysterious man wanted. It was the key. After fishing it out and realizing what it is, I took it to the man. Soon after, it granted me the achievement, the key, which also gave me a new ability called haste. After setting sail, for Gale Cliffs, I ran into the traveling merchant who will be very helpful to the very end of this voyage. After speaking with the merchant, I traveled around Gale Cliffs, fishing and collecting materials. Soon after, I ran into a man who was stuck on an island asking for assistance. So basically, the older gentleman wants to get back to his brother, but sadly, the brother wants nothing to do with him because the other guy who was stuck on the island took the family crest and he lost it and we need to find it. So luckily, after we found the crest and we talked to the older gentleman bringing it back to his brother, they accept each other and I unlock explosives which will come in handy. So finishing the pursuit, I obtain explosive which I use to knock on a wall and finding some glowing red embers, I set my hook and found it to be a musical box. Soon after, I headed back to the mysterious man who gives me a new ability called Manifest and the achievement, The Secret. Each fishing hole I use has the limited amount of fish in them. I have to collect a lot of fish and boy do I go through a lot of fishing holes. After depleting about 25 fishing holes, I get the achievement, Careless Harvesting. When arriving in Gale Cliffs, I've been, no, just snatching up all the material I can get. It's a all-you-can-carry buffet over here. So soon, I was able to collect enough material to upgrade my ship's hull to a tier 2, which gave me the achievement, Hull Improved. The number one way to make great money is to sell a lot of fish. I was able to collect enough fish and sell them to accumulate $2,500 overall, which gave me the achievement Lives for Profit. This next achievement isn't too hard to get, especially since it just requires a fishing rod. After using my fishing rod to catch 250 fish, I got the achievement Lifted from the Deep. After a great amount of fishing for material and trying to get a bunch of money to buy upgrades, I was able to sell enough fish to upgrade my ship's hull to a tier 3, which awarded me the achievement Hull Refined. I packed my ship full to the brim with all different kinds of fish, and believe me, it was no easy task. However, doing so gave me the achievement Perfect Packing. Snatching up a bunch of fish and selling them to the demise, I was able to save up enough money to afford my next and final hole upgrade, which gave me the achievement Hole Advanced. I obtained an ability called Manifest that allows me to instantly teleport to safety. Being the genius I am, I decided to sail out into the middle of the ocean and use the ability, which in turn teleported me to the mysterious man's home, giving me the achievement Dimensional Bypass. 
After finishing up with Gale Cliffs, I ended up heading over to the Stellar Basin, which is the next area on the map. I ended up linking up with the scientist, and she explained to me there's a giant creature in a ravine that would cause me some trouble. However, there is a way to counter the creature. I must build a tool to make the creature hide in its hole. Soon after building the tool and, and attaching it to the radio tower, I was able to get the ring. Not too soon after, I spoke to the mysterious man, giving him the ring and getting the achievement the bond. Plus, receiving a new ability called Banish. With upgrading the hole for the final time, I can set the max amount of lights I can have on my boat. So after buying the brightest ship light that produces 3000 lumens, I attached it and I got the achievement Light Up the Night. The need for speed is real. When you are caught after the dark traveling the water, things start to get really weird. So having enough speed is a must. Speaking to the traveling merchant, I was able to purchase an extra engine. After installing it, I was able to get up to 75 knots, which gave me the achievement no time to linger. When I started off, my fishing skills needed to be improved drastically. It took forever to build in fish and it was a problem. So after buying a fishing winch, I installed it, which increased in my reel speed up to 200%, which in turn gave me the achievement Swift Reaper. At the moment, I have been grinding to research a bunch of fishing rods to make my life a tad bit easier. After turning in some legendary fish to the merchant, I got about 4 research parts, which I used to get the last rod. Soon after, the achievement pop researcher rods. I ended up traveling around a lot throughout the map and I entered into this area called Devil's Spine. I decided to try out my foghorn. Surprisingly, I heard another foghorn go off, which gave me the achievement from the fog. I ended up meeting this old man who was a trader. He basically likes to buy treasure from me, like gold coins, broken glasses, medals, and a ton of other things. After dumping a stockpile of treasure onto him that was selling over well worth of 5,800, I got the achievement cash for gold. So this point in the game, I ended up making it to a new area called the Twisted Stranded with a bunch of new fish and a new set of problems. However, collecting a buttload of fish and selling it to the traveling merchant, I was able to buy some upgrade parts. After using the upgrade parts on my final engine upgrade, I got the achievement Researcher Engine. So I saw this fishing rod and I decided, hey, why not be a logical adult and buy this fishing rod that I technically don't really need? But after installing it and not realizing all my equipment slots were filled after, I got the achievement feeling prepared. Pretty much in the Twisted Strand, I was given the task by an airman who crash landed on the island. He was being hunted by monsters that ate his fellow comrades. He basically vowed vengeance to hunt down each of the three monsters that lurk in the swamp. After setting traps for the three monsters and taking their fish guts back to the airman, he gave me the shimmering necklace. However, sometime later, I made it back to the mysterious man, giving him the necklace and getting the achievement of the chain. I also unlocked a new ability called Atropy, which will come in handy later on. Just like the other upgrades, I was able to snag a few more part upgrades, which allowed me to finish up unlocking my last crab pot, which gave me the achievement Researcher Pots. At this point in the game, I'm basically just hunting for a uh, rest of the fish species that I need to fill up my encyclopedia with. However, throwing bait out to attract a couple of different fish species at a time, it gave me the achievement mixed results. Making my way back to Gale Cliffs, I ended up speaking with the traveler merchant and decided to finish up unlocking the last net I needed, which gave me the achievement researcher, Nets. The ability haste allows me to move a bit faster when sailing through the water. However, spamming haste to keep the meter above 50% for a bit gave me the achievement Cruel Heat. 
Hanging out in Gale Cliffs for a bit, I decided to buy a trail nut that allowed me to scoop up fish while I'm sailing around. After picking up a bunch of fish and discarding a bunch of fish, I got the achievement unwanted. I decided to drop a ton of pots in the center of Gale Cliffs to scoop up a ton of crabs. After a bunch of scavenging different areas of the map and collecting 100 plus crabs from pots, I got the achievement trapped by these walls. The telescope is probably one of the most valuable tools within the game. Finding fish from a distance is a time saver. However, heading over to Devil's Spine and spotting a few fish from every category, I got the achievement Prey Sighted. Within the world of Dredge, there are about 22 quests or pursuits, depending how you want to say them, that need to be completed. These quests range from helping people, finding items, or collecting certain types of fish. After cleaning up in Devil's Spawn and collecting these flames from fish shrines, I took them to the respective pillars that ended up making this old man burn up, which gave me the achievement Providence. At this point, I am definitely a fisherman. I can throw out my line and dangle my worm all day. And after casting my line just a few more times, I was able to catch a moonfish, which gave me the achievement Master Angler for catching all known fish species. I'm not gonna lie, I love staying late at night, feeling the cool breeze among my hair, and hearing the waves crash against my ship. It's a godsend. However, monsters like to lurk at night, and they really want to taste me for some reason. I was tugging around for some fish and all of a sudden I heard something coming from behind me. I used my big brain and pulled out my ability Banished, which I used which gave me the achievement Banisher for banishing 10 threats. The majority of fish have a different variations called aberrations. Some are pretty cool and some are terrifying. However, catching an aberration of a sunfish, I got the achievement Aberration Attractor. Dogs are super important within the world of Dredge, especially since when running away from things or just need to catch a breath, dogs are super important. After finding and sitting at every single dock, I was able to get the achievement Safe Havens. There are a handful of fish shrines across each island that require a certain type of fish or crab. When placing the fish, completing the shrine would give me a unique item for fishing or catching crabs. A fishing rod from a shrine, for example. Finding the last shrine required me to fill it with sharks. After completing the shrine, I got the achievement Servant of the Shrines. Using the ability called Atrophy, I was able to scoop up a bunch of fish from a little ways away, which gave me the achievement Unsustainable Fishing. I spoke about this tool before, it's called a trail net. It allows me to scoop up fish while I travel around or sailing around in the water. However, after spinning in a circle for a few minutes with my trail net hanging in the water, I got the achievement tangled in this web. After finishing the last quest, which I spoke about before, I was given the relic, the pocket watch. Sometimes later, after doing a bunch of fishing and achievement hunting, I delivered the watch to the mysterious man, getting the achievement the moment. After delivering all the relics to the mysterious man, he asked me to take him to a glowing point in the ocean. When we arrived, he read the book and tossed it in the water, which gave me the achievement unshackled. And what comes after gets even weirder. Take a look. You might think that was the ending, but no, there is a secret ending. Rather than taking the man to the point, I knocked out the mysterious man, taking the book, and went to the lighthouse keeper, who has been basically warning me that everything that's been going on this entire time. She uses the lighthouse to pull me into the direction I need to go, which I do. After I arrived, I throw the book into the ocean, which gives me two achievements, one from the depths, and the other one stated.
Now with the main story out of the way, it's time to start the DLC, the Pillar Reach, which expanded the map with a new area and offered new fish and pursuits. So without further hesitation, let's jump into it. Reaching the new area of the Pillar Reach, it's just a giant ice field area with glaciers. Meeting a photographer who is trying to capture a picture of the newly added monster, the narwhal. After getting some fish and putting it out, the narwhal jumped out breaking the ice that blocked the area. The narwhal ended up scaring the photographer and I got the achievement feeding time. With the new DLC comes new equipment, and one of the new equipments are called the Icebreaker. Basically, it allows me to plow through these little barriers of ice that are super annoying that could end up damaging my ship. After finding all three pieces and talking with the traveling merchant, she ended up putting it together and equipping it to my ship, which gave me the achievement Icebreaker. The traveling merchant has these new items called ice blocks that allow you to keep fish fresher for a longer period of time when traveling around. After buying 5 blocks of ice and equipping them to my ship, I got the achievement Fresh Fish. There are these four shades trapped in ice shards. I need to free them with ice picks that are found around the map. After destroying the ice trapping the shades, I would get a diamond of sort from each broken ice shard. After giving the four diamonds and placing them into the stone, which will finish the main DLC quest, giving me the achievement under the ice. There is this new fish called a colossal squid, which I obtained by using a trail net. Soon after catching the squid, I got the achievement from the black depths. With the new DLC, I ended up adding a few new fish species, and I was able to find every last one of them. However, one was annoying and it was kind of a pain in the butt. However, after some time, I found it. It was called a wolf fish. Soon after, I got the achievement Polar Angler. A creature or man dressed in blue asked me to find it some fish as a quest. So I did. After about giving him a handful of fish, I was able to end up getting an achievement called Frozen Favors. The last achievement took me forever due to the fact I needed to catch one aberration of a wolf fish. After searching and banging my head on the controller, I caught one, which gave me the last achievement, Cold Corruptions. And with that final quest, we are officially done with Dredge. 30 hours, 48 achievements, clean, done, kaboom. And now, all I want to say is this. Dredge is a great game, a great game, and I highly recommend it. Play it, please. The DLC is lacking a bit. It's not the greatest, in my opinion. I feel like they could have done so much more with it, but understandable. They already had a good what it was, and that's okay. I highly recommend it. It's super worth it. And so please, like, sub, and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful night or day. Thank you.